hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video i want to talk about um, coping with the death of a hamster so first of all i want to go into saying that um, hamsters make great pets and although they are in a cage you do share those special moments with your ham so i believe that one of the best ways of um, a coping mechanism um, is to you know know what you have signed up up before you take a hamster as a pet that you know that they have a short lifespan so you're expecting after a certain amount of years that this is going to happen so that already makes the you know the situation a lot easier just knowing that you're expecting that to happen it's not going to be a shock it's not going to be a surprise although there are some times where um, in a hamster's life you know there are accidents there are health issues there are all sorts of things that can go wrong but Normally, you know, with your hamster, when it gets to a certain age and it's potentially um, between two and three years, you know, you're expecting and also not just expecting, but also when you, you know, you share and spend time that you see that they have changed, you see that they're aging, you see them losing weight, you see that they are not eating properly, you are changing the layouts of the cage, you are now removing certain things like wheels. So it, that all alone is preparing you for what is about to happen. So these are definite um, coping strategies, mechanisms, whatever you want to call it. These are things that will help you along the way. So the other thing is, so when your hamster has potentially died there are things that can help you to cope with that um, a lot better and one of these things is talking so that's another great way um, and I think for a lot of problems um, discussions and especially if you're young I think it's helpful to talk to somebody and you know I wouldn't bottle anything in I think the great thing about emotions is expressing them and getting everything out and it's a lot healthier to get emotions out than rather than keep them in and um, you know then let them manifest inside you so I think um, expressing yourself um, earlier on and getting it out as quickly as possible is a better way to move forward and also um, the other thing to say like if you do have a hamster I think another great way um, especially for young as well is a burial service so you know this is kind of like a nice humane way of saying goodbye to your hamster and also it's um, a way of saying you know closing that chapter as well but not forgetting the memories so you've still got the memories of your hamster and that's something that nobody can take away from you and um, especially if you've documented it if you've video recorded it if you've got it in pictures um, and just memories visual memories in your mind of the moments that you shared that you know nobody can take that one away from you so what works best um, for me may not work for somebody else so always remember that there's no right or wrong there's no rules it depends on the individual going through that process and it's not just the death of a hamster you can even potentially just call it a death of a pet um, you know my my general um, experience of losing pets I think is just having those memories that I know that nobody can take away from me and also I think another strong um, element of it as well is knowing my intention knowing that I was doing the right thing knowing that I was taking care of my pet knowing that I did the best that I could possibly do um, for my animal and that reassures me um, that you know I did the best that I could and I think that's also something that you know if this happens to you something that you should remind yourself that you know always think about your intentions as well and also um, gratitude um, you know be grateful for even the shortest amount of time that you share with your pet that is time spent and um, you know whether they have a short lifespan or not just be grateful for that moment and that they were in your care and that you had that special bond and that time so you know 
I'm you know always grateful for all of my animals all of my pets that I have had in my lifetime I've always been born in a family um, that have always had pets so since I was a baby there's always been a pet um, so I know what it's like I've gone through these things many many times and um, yeah I'm always just grateful that they've come into my life and I'm just grateful for that time that I had whether it was short whether it was long um, I had that time so that's another way of coping with the the death of a hamster or pet but I think one of the biggest things to remember is you need to prepare yourself and I think if you're a child as well or if you're a parent getting a hamster for a child you need to prepare them that this will be a short lifespan but it's not um, a horrible thing that it is just their nature it's just their way and it helps a child I think to come to terms with it a lot better because when these things do happen even though they do still probably a shock they come to terms with it a lot quicker because they know well it was old you know it, this is going to happen um, so that is um, a great way of coping with the death of a hamster and any pet with a short lifespan so this is just a short video because there's not really much more that you can possibly do or say on the matter apart from pe preparing yourself um, setting yourself up from the start really that this is something that is going to happen and also you know expressing your emotions coping mechanisms such as a burial service for your hamster so that you get to say your goodbyes and also cherishing and it's important to have those memories and that has helped me a lot and it's still something that I will do today um, you know I probably won't be as emotional but you know it still hurts it's still painful um it doesn't matter what the animal is every animal is equal in their own way and they're just as important as any other animal that has a longer lifespan so you know i treat them in exactly the same way animal i've had for three years or animal i've had for 20 years i think the pain is still the same although you've spent longer with obviously a dog or a cat but still you know you've had special moments with your hamster in those short three years that they were alive so like I said this was a short video I hope that it helped some people out there um, who have got hamsters who may be going through this themselves this um, video was very very um, important for me to do at this time because during the time that I haven't been getting videos out I lost my hamster Rosie has passed away um, obviously old age she was two years and nine months so nearly three and um, you know she was struggling at the end she had lost a lot of weight um, eating wasn't great you could set you know I've showed you footage as well as you could see from yourself if you haven't then check out those videos um, of a hamster with old age um, happy to know that she had a great life um, so and I've got those moments that I will cherish and always remember about her so yeah so that was um, a video that was important for me to get out this time round because I just thought you know it's great to help others and if they know what how I've dealt with it maybe it might help them um, deal with it so yeah so that was this video and I'd just like to end this footage um, with some memories some flashbacks of Rosie because if you look through my videos there are a lot of um, great moments great videos that I did with Rosie and um, yeah and obviously um, they might be Kubo in those videos because they shared a cage together they really did get on and um, he obviously Kubo as you know has passed away before Rosie so yeah so it's probably a dedication to both of them as well so yeah hope you enjoy this video if you have been watching my videos then you will know both of those hamsters very well and uh, all of the great things that we have done together so I do hope you enjoy the flashbacks I know that I definitely will and um, great memories that we shared so I will end it here and we'll watch that video so stay safe take care hope to see you in another video if you haven't subscribed then please do if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and yeah stay safe take care and goodbye
Rosie didn't want to go. Rosie wanted to stay. So she did. She stayed in the cave at the bottom of the sea.